Hello everyone, I'm Dragon Wolf and welcome back to Terraria. In this episode, we're going to try our best to try to take down, yep, you guessed it, the evil mechanical skull. No, <laughs> we're going to try to take down uh, Skeletron Prime as best we can. As you can see, it's getting really, really close to the time, really, really close to nighttime. I have a mixture. Let's let's set this because I don't want to over overdo this while I uh, am trying to explain. Because we want to have as much time as possible during the night to kill him, even though he does stick around after the fight or after day breaks. But he can one shot you afterwards. But anyway, I went ahead and made me a bunch more regeneration potions and iron skin potions. I'm probably gonna dip into my well of. Um, endurance potions so that way we take 10 percent less damage uh i really don't know any other potions other than maybe an archery potion because i do want to try to use my Dodless bow uh, i don't know how effective it will be considering that we took out the the uh twins with no problem with the the mega shark but skeletron prime is a different beast indeed he's got four different appendages and then you have to kill the head itself so and in this with it being expert mode you have if you don't kill the hands first his his head itself does not take that much damage similar to way it was with just regular old skeletron you had to literally kill both of his hands before his head became uh less buffed or had a, d a damage reduction buff but anyway regardless we're going to try this i do have a, a, a wide array of bullets i'm going to try to use the curse bullets in this fight uh, I have them set behind the endless pouch because I don't want to use them when I'm just killing random things but now that we're almost to the point where we're gonna fight them I'm gonna move the cursed bullets in front of the pouch because that's basically the next I think we can use it's just basic bullets uh, what bullets are we using we're we using the yeah we're using the silver bullets okay so I want to try to use the Crystal bullet, uh, curse bullets first. So I'm gonna put them above or in front of the silver bullets because it's basically it works from your inventory down, and it also works in your just in, in your uh, ammo slot as well. If I had uh, actually, you know what? Let's just put that in our top ammo slot, and then we're gonna be using Hellfire arrows with our dollars bow until those run out, and then we'll resort to Jester's arrows. Probably should start with Jester's arrows. But we'll just have to see how the fight goes. Um, I've never really killed Skeletron Prime as a ranged character. I either usually do it as uh, a magical character, using magical spells and whatnot, so like Crystal Storm or the uh, Golden Shower, those to that effect, or using it as a melee, where you really don't care if you get hit a lot because your your armor is just so beefy. I did try to do my best of getting a mixture between warding like 90% of our gear is warding, whereas our wings, they're, they're menacing. Just to give us that extra little boost of damage. Uh, we may have to turn around and use, turn one of these into menacing modifier just to get that extra damage. Because I think the faster we kill him, the, the faster he goes down. I think that's the, basically what it is. I haven't really consulted any guides on, you know, what accessories are better for this and that for ranged. Like I said, ranged is something new to me. That's why we're doing this. So basically, let me stop talking. Let's go ahead and get this passage of time going because we only have less than an hour. And yeah, let's let's try our best to kill it. We have our buff food. We have a pumpkin pie, or we have our our buffs. We have our regen and iron skin. We might want to grab, like I said, a couple of endurance. And I do want to see what I can do about grabbing, uh, let's grab an archery potion. And I need to make some more swiftness, but I'll take the last one I have in my, my collection. All right. No time better than the present. Let's buff up with the box. When it gets like three, two, one, you hear the music change? All right, we're going to buff up. We're going to summon him. Let's go. Hello, Skeletron Prime. 
Uh, let's switch the gun. There we go. Oh, look at that. That cursed. I'm just going to aim for whatever I can. Probably need to take out the cannon one first, which at this point, it's kind of hard to see which one is the cannon one. And as you can see, our, our arena is very sufficient enough to take him on. Because we could just go, you know, down, back, just kite him back and forth. Doesn't look like I'm going to, I'm getting too many shots in with my, uh oh, don't want to get hit by that. I'm getting a lot of shots in with my Mega Shark. I want to rebuff it every once in a while to keep those guys burning. There we go, and switch back. Come on, we can do this. Uh oh, go down. Come on, I need to get some of these hands down, at least. All right, switch back. Oop, ow. Let's try to focus. Oh boy. Hey, 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 stop it there. Come on, hit him. Hey, I'll take down that. That's no big deal. You show me something, I'm going to take it down. Using the Dollar's bow to try to get as much as many hits as I can. Sorry for my broken English. Oh boy, come on. I'm wasting a lot of bullets here, but that's okay. That's what I made these bullets for. It seems like our, our life is oh, oh hey 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 hey. No 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 no. Don't you be doing that. Don't you be doing that. Alright, let's see if we can sneak around him. And our buffs, how are our buffs doing? We're doing pretty good on the buffs. Looks like his hands are going down kind of equally. Let's switch back to this. There we go. Get some of those shots off in there. And I think the, the as each hand dies, the faster he gets. So, so far we're doing, we're doing decent, actually. I figured we would have already died. Sees out, tells you how much faith I have in myself. Ugh. Anyway. Looks like we're getting a bunch of the hands down super, super fast. And that cursed debuff from those bullets are really, really doing a work over on him. Switch back. Get that cursed debuff going. And basically, if anybody doesn't know what the cursed debuff does, it pretty much sets them on fire. So they're just taking constant damage. And it looks like we've already killed at least one of the hands. So that's good. All right, there's hand number two. And that one's about dead. Well, thanks for doing that, sir. I appreciate that greatly. So I'm gonna try to aim at his head, or maybe just a little bit up uh, in front of his head. It looks like his, um, his last arm is about to die. I figured we would have a lot more trouble on them, on Skeletron, than I thought we would. Alright, now we can probably aim. Uh, don't want to waste my cursed bullets, because they really don't do anything to him. They don't cause the debuff on him, only his limbs. So we can just kite this guy back and forth now. We still have plenty of time. As you can see, it's already just now 11.39 at night not even midnight yet and we he's got 6,000 health left probably mix it up do a little bit of it looks like I just do a lot more damage with the gun especially when I have a straight shot Wow look at this he's going to die we probably haven't uh, yeah we'll probably say safe to say we probably have enough time to kill another one but there he goes Skeletron's dead Let's get down here. Uh, let's kill the. Let's try to kill the destroyer again. How about that? We probably. No, nah, actually, no, 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 not yet, not yet. Oh, look at that, Lane Ford's. Uh, Lane Ford's gear. Woo. Let's see how this looks. You got the wings. Put those in the accessory slot. Make sure that that it's visible. The hat. Uh, was this a shampoo? Where does this go? Is it an accessory? Alright, well, it's just an item. And then the pants. 
And let's hide the shield. Look at that. I quite like that. That's cool. Uh, where did his souls go? Oh, uh, we got 36 souls of fright. So now that we've got all four. Ooh, look at this. It seems like every time we kill a boss, we <laughs> a golden bunny comes along to say hello to us. So apparently golden bunnies are lucky for us. I've also caught uh, other things like uh, a couple of times after I fought the destroyer, I actually got a golden squirrel. So maybe it's just not. Maybe it's just golden characters altogether. Uh, hey, you sir, back off. Thank you. All right, now let's go talk to Mr. Guy down here and find out exactly what we can use with these souls. I'm pretty sure we could use a lot. We could probably we can make the Avengers emblem now, which is good. That'll give us an extra. 12% increased damage. I think we might be able to take um, the Bandit Regeneration off. As long as we fight in our arena, I think we'll be okay as far as health regen because we've got campfires everywhere. We have the Heart Lanterns, all that good stuff. Uh, let's see. What did I come over here for? I have since forgotten what I came over here for. Uh-oh. Yeah, let's put this item up. Uh, we really don't. I really don't want to have that. Oh, yeah. I remember now what I was looking for. We're looking for... We got a Spike Sorcerer's Emblem back when we fought or killed uh, Wall of Flesh. Long, 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 long time ago. So we're going to go over here to our chest with our souls. And we're going to grab Souls of Sight. Souls of Might. I don't think we need... Is there anything else we need? Um, I guess Mr. Guy to tell us. Just put a stack of souls in there. Five might, five sight, five fright. At uh, Tinker's Workshop. Ah, that's why it didn't work. So we have to be at the Tinker's Workbench. There we go. Avengers Emblem. Like I said, I'm going to replace... I uh, don't think we're going to need the, the tooth necklace. If I find, like, after this video, what I'll do is if I don't get any uh, comments based on what's a good setup for Ranger, I will go ahead and I will look just to make sure that we're well equipped for any upcoming boss. Uh, by the way, once we killed him, it said that uh, the jungle has now awoken. So now we we're able to go into the jungle. There are a few, th a few new things that we're able to get there. Uh, I am going to put this necklace away in safekeeping because I think the shark tooth, ne shark tooth necklace is is part of the ranger gear. I could be wrong though. Hey, I'm trying to do something here. Back off. Um, so here we go. We got the souls. What else can we do other than the Avengers Emblem? We are doing now a 12% increased damage. Once I find a way to get some more money... I'm actually going to up this to probably menacing. I probably should change this this ranger's emblem to menacing as well, but that's okay. So now that we've got souls of fright, let's go back. We can make the Drax. We can make the flamethrower, which that sounds pretty good. We can also make the pickaxe. So we need 18 hollowed bars and one of each soul. So let's go ahead and make that. Uh, should have got some hollow bars from him. Yes, I did. So instead of making the the loud rah, rah, rah noise, I'm going to do the pickaxe instead because it's a much quieter, less annoying t uh, pickaxe. So here we go. We got the hollowed pickaxe now, which is nice. Which it's it's weak, but we really don't use it for for mine or for weapons anyway. Or at least we try not to. Uh, where did I do with all my other picks? I know I have a chest full of picks. Why do I keep them? I don't know. I just, uh, I, I like to keep things. I'm just going to put it, put it in this chest for safekeeping. Uh, what else can we do? We can go ahead and make, take the other pieces of the mechanical wheel that we got from each of the other bosses, take it to the forge, and make the mechanical cart, which then we can equip 
and it's pretty much a faster version of the cart so if we find any tracks or anything it's it's a lot faster and you can speed up slow down whatever uh let's put this mask away let's see is there there's a mask somewhere all right so let's check one more time i don't think there's anything else other than basically what we've we built we make the avengers emblem of each type which is warrior, sorcerer, ranged, and uh, throwing. I think there, there's an uh, emblem for that as well. Actually, we could check. There's sorcerer. There's, so there's a sorcerer's emblem. There's two sorcerer's emblems? Oh, I can't read. Da, da, da. Summoner emblem. There we go. And then you got the ranger, and then you got the warrior. Okay, so instead of throwing, it's summoner. Okay, no problem. Other than making the flamethrower I which I don't think I'm going to make because it requires gel to uh, pa be powered and it's not really that strong but it is good for finding different like caves and stuff but we'll be alright oh the merchant has arrived so basically now all we have to do let's see where did the merchant go oh. um, hello mr. merchant where are you sir I heard you come in. Could have swore he came in. Oh, he must have died during the fight. I wonder why he died. Either that or he didn't respawn back when uh, the destroyer just slew all of them. But now we're able to go into the dungeon or the, the jungle, which we will do next episode, and hopefully we'll be able to get some heart pieces. Um get some chlorophyte uh that's the next next tier of upgrades and probably make ourselves a chlorophyte farm that's that's gonna be fun there's a there's a simple way that i used i i do it i don't remember i apologize i don't remember how or who is the first person who came up with this if i can find it i will make sure that the, when we do that episode that i give them credit because it's a really really good chlorophyte farm and I think I'm going to make it pretty big because you need chlorophyte for pretty much anything from here on out. Uh, at least for the next three upgrades of armor until we get to the Moon Lord. So, yeah. I'm very, very happy that we we had little to no effort with killing Skeletron. Skeletron Prime, I that it is. I don't know what happened. I'm just, I just, I'm just super strong, I guess. I'm, well, I'm really tanky. For a range guy, I don't think I'm supposed to have 55 armor. But, you know, it happens. It happens. So let's go ahead and put some of this stuff away. And pretty much between this episode and next, I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go down and start fishing for some more uh, armored cave fish because we are running somewhat low. I have 18 endurance potions left. Uh, I want to make sure that we have plenty for the upcoming bosses. And if, if not, then, you know, I'll make sure I farm farm for what I need. If there's any suggestions on what I should do next as far as this point forward, we've killed all three of the mechanical bosses. The next boss that is to, become, that, that is to come up is Plantera, so we'll have to build an arena in the jungle to kill her, which shouldn't be too hard. Uh, there's also a way to... Uh, change that if that makes any sense um there's a way to cheese that where you don't have to actually fight plantera in the jungle you can make your own jungle biome in the cavern area so if that's something that you want me to do or want to want me to show how i build it or whatever please let me know in the comments below and thank everybody for watching <clears throat> if you like the video please give it a big thumbs up until next time see you later